So today we're trying the new Bardstown tasting box. This is the origin series that we picked up at the Bardstown distillery. It was a really cool tour. I do like how they give you the batch number in there. First up is the distillate. So this is the white dog or the white lightning or whatever you want to call it. Same mash as the bourbon we're going to taste later. Of course, we had to do a little smell test. First reaction, first taste. And you get that roasted corn sweet and sweetness in there. Pretty pretty powerful. This is probably one of the better white dogs that we usually get to have or white lightning or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Also side note, look at how bougie this is. The B is monogrammed on the bottom of the bottle. Next up is the origin series weeded bourbon. You can see right here, 68% corn, wheat is 20% and the malted barley is 12%. It's actually quite light in the glass. If you see here, I'm actually was a little bit concerned. This might be tasting a little too light. Yeah, I'm still getting a lot of sweetness on the nose, even with this one coming from the distillation. It. It's, I mean, it's pleasant. There's nothing yep. wrong with it's this. It's not a bad note. Fantastic. Flat. I mean, it's just like one note, just sweet, like caramely sweetness, a little bit of like grain on the back end, like, like a barley. little bit of viscous. Yeah, a little. Yeah, it's I think not, this because this it's is not uh, thin. It's not watery for sure. I mean, it's 100 proof. It's not yeah, bad. It's still got a good proof on it. Yeah, it's still a little thin for my liking, but yeah, a little bit one note, just a lot of sweet and not a lot of that depth of like the oak and char that we kind of would want. Next up is the Origin Series Bourbon. That has a mash bill of 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% malted barley. It's very sweet again. You can definitely smell like the corn sweetness on these. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? I mean, still it's very sweet. It's got a lot of the stone fruit flavors in this one resembling of like a rye even though it's i mean and it's got a good amount of rye in it it's 36 percent like tasting and smelling more of like a rye than it does a bourbon i just like can't it say it's worth the price though man um, it doesn't have the oakiness that you would kind of expect in a bourbon like that sweetness is there like the caramely toffee you know that you kind of expect but not a ton of the oakiness it's more of like that stone fruit like apricot cherry things like that is coming through on the nose yeah it's the pretty palate. sweet definitely stone yeah. fruit sweetness than bourbon sweetness like you would expect and lastly we're finishing up with the bardstown rye this is personally one of my favorite with the 95 percent rye and five percent malted barley this is definitely one of my favorite rye's and already knew this was going to be good Ooh, man this this is already good it's i know the nice. rye is good the rye yeah. is nice and the nose on this thing is excellent for a rye oh man this is one of my favorite rye's this this is good how mm. does this compare sniff wise to the rare uh rare breed rye from wild turkey so the rare breed rye is a little bit of a higher abv like it's up over 100 so it's going to be beefier but this and I this mean, is right at 96 even at 96 I mean, it's, it's like below this 100. is Still got a. It feels it feels pretty strong on the nose. It's still got a good beefy nose to it. It's not weak by any stretch. See, if that's good. It's got the spice. It's got that sweetness to it. It's got the right amount of viscosity to it. I mean, look at the legs on that. That's long. Like, that's good. That's it's it's, it's got very some good legs. very viscous. That's for sure. Yeah, love it. Good mouth feel. Mm. It's velvety. Mm. That's that's a good rhyme. Yeah, I would say out of this whole set. I was just looking forward to the rye because I already knew the rye was good. I told the tour guide the rye was good. This is a nice little set. If you can get your hands on this, wherever you all are, if you're close to the distillery or if your liquor store stocks it, it's a nice set to go through. I'd say my favorites have to be the, the distillate and the rye. That rye is definitely worth the money. Everything else, a little overpriced. Nothing to like really wow you for the price point. Um, but that, that rye, it's worth the money worth it so again that's the origin series tasting box if you've tasted any of these we'd love to hear what your thoughts are down in the comments as well